Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I am going to be setting up, Planning with Maserati, I'm going to be setting up my Family Dollar uh, book bag that I bought. It is the Just Be. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So what I'm showing you is I am adjusting the strap. I think a little bit more. Yeah, I think like that. And then I just take this one and I take this one together so that they're evened out. Should be about right here. If it's not exact, it's fine. I just want to make sure that it has enough, you know, strap in it. So yeah, let's take this apart. So again, welcome. My camera's about to die in about 20 minutes. So here is, like I was saying, the Just Be. Do I have my wallet in here? Yeah. So I got this from Family Dollar as well, so I'm going to show you that. I'm not going to set it up with you because that's personal information. So this is A15 Just Be, and it was $10, down to $5, down to $2. So check for the reduced if you go to Family Dollar. And I can't tell you what color it is, but it's like a, almost like a cognac. And it's called Mini Backpack. So it's almost like a like a cognac color, but a little bit, maybe a little lighter. And that is the Just Be. Okay, so we got that done. Usually I keep those, but then I, you know, I don't want to keep everything that I have. Okay, so let's bring this down. So this here is a little wallet. I got it today at Family Dollar along with this. So together this was five bucks. So this one was three. Can you believe that? This was three. And it's just a little pouch. But I like it because it has this. And then it has the zipper and two pockets. And that's what I need is two pockets for two cards I want to put in here that I use on a daily. So that's why I don't want to show it to you. But that's going to go right into this pocket. Oh, sorry. My hand just hit the camera, so it's going straight into this pocket. I do have this one. This one matches a different bag I have, and it's the same color, except for this has gold. This, I was thinking of putting behind it like that, so I have two basic wallets in here. This one could just be like coin change, which I have plenty of that, and then that's the inside. This came with a, a purse of mine. So that's why that's in here. Okay, so we'll just close this pocket up because we don't really need it right now. So, the things I'm looking I keep hitting this camera, I do apologize. So I'm trying to fix it as I keep hitting it. So with this pocket is the main compartment. There is no other pockets. It's just this, and I have change on the bottom. Can you believe that? So let's start that pouch off with some change. It's not much. It probably fell out of something. I was going to set it up earlier. But I was like, no, let me wait and set it up. Okay, here we go. So I got four cents in here. I'll put my four cents in. <laughs> that way it starts off with some change. Usually I put it in my coin jar, but I'll put it in here. You never know if you're going to the store and you need four cents. So I'm just putting this in here. This is why I like this pocket because you have room for two wallets and it's easier to pull out than if you were to come in here, look for it, and then it's just a whole mess. Hopefully it's just like And I like this because it has like these little expander kind of look right here. So these are nice. So let's go ahead and now stuff it. Alright, so you haven't seen my new setup in planners yet. I have not went over it but I'm going to kind of go over it right now. This is my weekly and dailies and it is a traveler's notebook system. This is from a traveler's notebook system that I have. It's a leather bound and I just put the clip here. It holds very well this uh, di uh, di <laughs> dot marker and what I do here is I just push it down because if I go this way with it, the cap gets stuck in here. So what I do is I go up 
and that's where I leave it just like that because it fits the whole thing and then this one is a Trevor's notebook as well I mean a pen loop <laughs> that's attached to the Trevor's notebook like Trevor's notebook as well of course it is I'm trying to get it out okay hold on one second because I don't have it all the way in Oh, I have it clipped. Okay, let me get it out of the clip. Okay, so what I do is I put it sideways like this. I push down. Because if you go this way, you could get this in here. But this rubber piece gets stuck in there. So what I do is I go up, just like that, and clip it on. That's why it was stuck. So I just clip it on. Like that. So this book here, it's not really set up. So here I don't even have anything. What is in here? This is some notes. Uh, some Bible study notes. This is the letter M for my name, Maserati. And then I have three pockets. A secretarial pocket. Some sticky notes that I thought I was putting in here. I don't know if I have it in here. Not yet. It's going to go in here. So this here is the 360. Um, every day. And it is the sequence. I don't know what is this. It could be from here. Hopefully it's not damaging it. I might move this clip. And then I have 360 every day. It's on, like I said, a traveler's notebook. This is a little clip. You could clip your page. And then this here is the page where you put your name and whatever else you want. It has so much. I'm going to flip through this one day. Annual plans. It is a monthly. Undated. And it goes this way. And a weekly undated. Starts on a Monday. Ends on a Sunday. And the weekend is shared. And then on this side. There is tons. As you see I'm flipping it. Uh, here's the last page. All of this is notes. So you have plenty of notes. Okay. And then that is the back cover to the sequence. And then that is the inside of the back. Well, this is the page for the back cover, right? So the insert. And then this is the actual back cover, which is red. Okay. And then this book came from... I thought Pen and Gear, but it's not. It's Staples because Pen and Gear usually puts all their information on their Trevor's notebooks or anything. So this is from Staples. It is the line of Staples. I have this one and I have. Let me see if I can find it really quick because it was just next to me. You were just next to me. Oh, right here it is next to me. So I have this size, which I think is a B6, right? And then I have this size. So let me show you the difference. So this is a smaller size. Evened it out. So I think this is a B6 for this one. And then you can see it's a little bit taller on top. And this is a little skinnier. So this is not a standard Trevor's notebook. And then this one, it just has that stuff in there. And it is the same notebook right here I have is the same notebook as this one. And again, just two different sizes. What is this notebook? So it's a lined notebook, as you can see. And I have my Bible stuff in here. Where this one, this is where I do my dailies. So I have notes here. I started it today, so it has notes, and then I didn't really do too much. Those are YouTube videos, and then I'm still working in it. And I did a little pen test and a artist loft to make sure this paper is good quality, and it is. The dot markers did not bleed. It did not shadow. The pen did not bleed or shadow. So it's very good quality. And then I put a binder clip here. Just so if I want to clip anything, like notes or something, I have my pen loop. So you can see my binder clip kind of matches the color. Yeah, but I like the sequence. But I think I'm going to move this clip 
to probably maybe the inside of one of these pages. So I may just take this clip out though, to be honest with you, because it's going to mess up the sequence and that's what I'm trying not to do. Unless it's this. It could be my binder clip. So I'll see. If it's the binder clip, I'll take it out and put back this because I like to... Actually, I'm going to put it back because I like to keep notes here. Like if it's anything important, like if I have to buy something or whatever. That's why I like to keep this here. I keep a picture of my grandson sometimes in the front, you know, just so I could see it. But then I will be working in this book and I'll show you some videos of that. So there's that one. And then I again, top marker. It's a dual tip as well. So it has a regular tip. And then my, uh, what is this? Calisco? Yeah, the Calisco pen. This is in a XMT. So that's going to go inside there. I'm kind of going like, I would say minimalist, minimalist. I can't even say it. So that fits perfectly in here. So you can see instead of having like the big happy planner and all of that stuff. So this notebook, which is not a notebook, it's a planner. It is a 2024. I've shown this in my uh, videos before. It has the same brown and black. It came with a pen. It was off of Amazon. I got a really good deal on it. This is just covering up a note. And then it does come with a list pad itself. It comes with the pocket on this side. And if you chose to take the list pad off, you have a pocket on top. Which is nice. And then here, I just have it clipped. It is the week that we're on. I didn't fill in here. And I got to fill in a little bit more in here. And then this is just the weekly. And I already went ahead and did all of the holidays and birthdays. And then on this side, I just have the little sticky. Uh, just like this. Page flags. And then I just have a budget sticker, which is Erin Condren in the back. So if I have bills or anything, I can mark it off. So that will be going in here. I have a binder clip clip in it together so that um, on this page and then on this page. So the page I'm on, I don't really need it all clipped. I just did that. So that's going to go in here as well. And then the last planner. I'm undecided on both of these. Okay, so this one, let me explain. This is a Amazon one, I believe. It is a pocket planner. It does snap. It has the Webster's pages. I like these things, so I just leave them in there. It has the elastic loop here. And then let me take this out because this is some information. I clicked on a Stayology. Stayology? Stayology. I haven't put anything here yet or inside, but I just cut the paper down. And this is where I'll start me doing like, um, I don't know, just maybe some journaling take notes, things like that. I need to get something for, I don't know if that is even working, so that the pages don't bend because you could see the stayology is like very thin paper. And then it's the pocket there. But look at how small those rings are. So that is my dilemma with this one. Do I want to stay in here or just insert some inserts in here, hold them in here, and then use my Domino Lux? by Filofax and I already set this up and I showed you everything in here so that's what I'm kind of like contemplating and then I messed up on May because I put the wrong see I was thinking it was April right so I was doing it like if it was April and it's not it's May so I gotta wipe the 2023 wipe these out so I had to go pick up, this is the reason I went to Family Dollar, pick up this, the whiteout, and I got to white out the 24th and the 1st and actually redate this. So there's the monthly, and then I just have uh, dailies. And then I have the inbox, it takes you there, some to-dos, some notes, and then I have... Just no paper, little 
happy plans. I put that sticker there. And then I have uh, this that's holding page flags and then, or Mickey Mouse heads, that's page flags, and then pictures. My list, daily, weekly, brain dump, pocket size, and then just no paper. So I'm thinking just carry this one with me. And for this one, I'll probably just use the blue pen just to get, you know, my pens being used. And then I want to downsize in here, but I'm not going to do it today. So I already talked myself into which one I'm using. So there's three planners in here. So the next thing I want to add into here is, okay, so I'm going to move this. This pen will automatically go in here. I'm thinking without taking the notebook, um, the cover to the notebook, I might put that Mickey Mouse head in here. I don't even know what I just did with it, to be honest with you. Yes, I covered it up somewhere. Putting the Mickey Mouse head in here, and then on the go, I could do my journaling in faith. So let's stick this in here. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. And I don't even know if I'm going to carry the domino. I know I'm carrying this one because that's my weekly and daily. But maybe not the domino. Maybe just like that. For now. Let me flip this over. This is how good this bag is. You could flip it over so you could actually see the inside. Okay, so now I have this pen from Dollar Tree. Don't sleep on Dollar Tree with their pens because they're really good. Um, this one here is the ink, INC, and it's the 0.7 gel. Look at that tip on that. I love the barrel. It's see-through. Let's see if we can see it. There you go. This is too, but I mean, you're not going to see it because it has the ink cartridge in here. But yeah, so that goes in here. Um, this will go in here as well. This is just a regular, uh, what is this, unison medium, a unison medium. So that'll go in here, but I'm using it right now. This will stay out because, you know, I need it. So I bought this today for $2.75 at Family Dollar. And I need a hairbrush or a comb with me because, you know, like when you have the window open, you get the fly away. So that is what I'm looking for. My hair will be brushed, obviously, before I leave. But I like this part of it. Because, you know, I have thick hair, of course. And then the back is thinning. Because you get old. So I'm thinking if I should carry this one with me. I just don't want it to smush or mess up my stuff. I like this handle, though. Or should I just carry the comb with me? I might just carry the comb with me. And then for lotions, I have, this is Bath & Body. I have the paraben, paraffin. This is the hand, nail, and cuticle. I might carry this one. I have, well, I have a lot of these in a little container next to me. The Gingham, Gingham, Shea Butter Hand Cream. And then I have the Dry Hand Relief. And this is hydrating. I think I'm going to use the paraffin for now because it's the hand, hair, hand, nail, and cuticle. And I need to work on my cuticles and my nails. So I'm going to put that in here as well. The only other thing that goes in there is going to be, um, let me grab it so I can show you. The clearly cash. And then my keys can go onto the side. So it's not messing up anything. And then in here, into this pocket, I don't even know how much I have here. Two, three singles. I like to put singles into pouches just in case you ever need it. So I put this in here, tuck it in there, and then two cards will go here. That goes right back in here. So like if you're going to the store and you only need a dollar, I don't know why, but just saying, you have it in the pocket. And that is it for this video.
is there anything else? Oh, this. So, like, if I'm sitting somewhere at a doctor's office, this is a little thing that you could put if you're sitting at a desk, if you're at a coffee shop or wherever. You put this on there and you could put your phone. And that will sit right in here as well. And I think that is basically it for now. I do have to put my vitamins in here and I might put one of the sunglasses in here because it's going to be summer. But other than that, I think it's good. Oh, and my headsets. Um, where did I put it? It's like reaching for everything. Okay. And then I have this one my daughter gave me. I just have to charge it again. And it is just the wireless headsets. Oh, it don't need to be charged. It looks like a Cobra. And then that will probably just sit in the front as well. Like that. Just in front so that I see it. So that is everything in my bag that I'm taking. I'm not grabbing a lot of stuff because, you know, it's not like I sit outside for hours. But just in case, I have a cute little pouch bag. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I just wish this handle was a little bit bigger and it had like two so you can like hold it. Just the top handle. So you have like the door hook or whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, so this is my little $2 purse. And everything else I had except for the comb because I bought the brush at the comb at the same time. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And please give it a big thumbs up. I'm going to leave it like this so you can see it. And I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm going to actually lift you up now because it's falling. Okay. So thank you and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.